things like rice, tin tomatoes, beans, chickpeas, spices, herbs, all of that stuff, you can make great things. And one of my favorite things to do with all of that is a good chili, a really good chili where you can get loads of veggies in there. It's proper delicious. So look, first job, the base of this chili. Get yourself a nice onion, peel it and roughly chop it. Now, if you haven't got an onion, maybe you've got a leek, you could use spring onions. Again, we can swap these things out, guys. No problem, let's be flexible. So hot pan, so the onions go in like that. Hot pan, I'm gonna use two cloves of garlic. Just slice it up, any old how, doesn't really matter. Garlic goes in. It sounds exciting already. We're gonna go chili. So I'm just gonna kind of roughly finely slice it. So look, I'm probably gonna use that much. If you've got any leftover chili, right, two things I can do, throw them in the freezer, they're really good, you can grate them over things, or just put them in the salt like this, and it kind of just stops it kind of going minging and moldy, right, and then you can use it the next day. So, chili goes in, like that. Let's get some spice into your life. So take a teaspoon, and I want level teaspoons, right, we wanna go easy on the spice, so cinnamon goes in, and then a level teaspoon of cayenne pepper or smoked paprika, delicious. And then we've got the cumin. Get a wooden spoon and then just stir it up. Now guys, if you wanna get mega flavor out of veg, make it big and robust, then this part is really important. Have a look what's happening in that pan, right? We're bringing out the natural sugars in the onion. And it's not just onion that has natural sugars. Carrots have it, squash have it, peppers have it too. So even with the peppers here, get your thumb and just thumb it, right? And then that way is the best way to tear out these lovely chunks like this. So we'll get rid of the seeds and we won't waste any of these little bits here. Don't want to waste anything. And we'll do the same with the yellow pepper. So I want to roughly chop these up into like kind of two centimeter chunks. And this is just the beginning of the story. It's gonna get better and better and better. And the most important thing for me with a chili is there's kind of an obsession by throwing in the wet stuff now, early, right? That's where the big problem is. Do not get those tin tomatoes in there too early. What we wanna do is what you can see there, right? We wanna slowly fry. We wanna caramelize the veg. That's gonna earn you massive, massive flavor points. So let's have a little toss up. Look at that, it smells amazing. We'll keep stirring it. And then I wanna get some coriander stalks. So any stalks of fresh herbs that you've got, it could be mint, basil, or coriander. I'm using coriander today. Just finely slice those stalks out because often they end up in the bin, but they're full of flavor. So if you haven't got fresh herbs, please don't worry. This recipe is flexible to what you've got in your pantry and your fridge, okay? So stir in the coriander. And we're gonna cook this for about 10, 15 minutes on a medium high heat to get really intense and delicious. Now, if you sweet potato, of course you could use a normal potato, of course you could use squash, okay? Again, swap outs are important. The sweet potato, I think, is delicious. It counts as one of your five fruit and veg a day. We want to get the veggies in you guys to keep you healthy, to keep you optimal. So sweet potatoes, yum. I'm just going to clank them up into like one inch chunks. Then I've got the oven on at 200 degrees Celsius. And I'm just going to kiss these with a touch of oil, a good pinch of salt and pepper, and then a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of cayenne pepper and here's a little bit of cumin. Now give these a little toss, right? And it will stick to it. And as that roasts for about an hour, right? That is gonna be delicious. So it's had about 10, 15 minutes. It's shrunk down. It smells incredible. Now we can think about adding beans, tomatoes, stuff like that. So as far as beans are concerned, these are brilliant. But whatever you can think of or got, use that. So one tin, juice and all, will go in. That's your protein, incredibly important, you know, for your nutrition if you're not eating meat. Um, we're gonna put in some chickpeas as well. We'll go juice and all. Chickpeas are amazing, they suck up all the flavor. 
Then we're going to get the tomatoes in there. I like to use whole plum tomatoes if possible, but you can use the chopped or the passata. Please don't worry. So two tins of plum tomatoes I will use. And then what I like to do is just rinse out the tin with just a little bit of water. And we're good to go. That chilli is going to be fantastic. So, so give it a nice little stir up and then break up some of those tomatoes and they'll continue to disintegrate as you simmer away for about 20, 25 minutes until it's delicious and unctuous. It's gonna be so, so good. I might give it a little kiss of seasoning now. And then, importantly, what are we gonna have it with? Flatbreads, could be delicious, but rice is the thing for me. It just makes me feel good. So I'm gonna get a pan on, and then I'm gonna get a regular builder's mug, and I'll fill that with basmati rice, so another classic store cupboard ingredient. And what we do is we go two cups of water to one cup of rice. It works every single time and we call it the absorption method because the rice will just absorb that exact amount of liquid and it will give you light, fluffy, fresh, nutty rice. So a pinch of salt, lid on, get that thundering away, that will be ready in 12 minutes and you can just switch it off. This will tick away for another sort of 20, 25 minutes. Time for a little clean down. So here we go guys, after 20 minutes it's looking like this, thick and gorgeous looking. The rice is steamy and done, can you see all the little holes that come through? So that is going to be beautiful and fluffy. Let's plate some up, but not before we get the sweet potatoes out. So these have had just under an hour, oh come on, look at that, they've shrunk up. And look at the crispy skins as well, ho, ho, ho. they're going to be amazing. So I'm literally going to put those straight in. And what's nice is they all kind of almost rehydrate with the chilli sauce. Just gorgeous. So one of the great things about sweet potatoes, you know, like pumpkin and squash, is they'll keep a long time in your home. You get them in soups, stews, you know, make nice little oven chips, stuff like that. Absolutely delicious. So we're good to go now, guys. Let's turn it off. Always an important time to taste your food. Mmm. Correct the seasoning, if need be, delicious. Now, if you want to kind of give it a little bit of a pick-me-up, you could use some herbs, for sure. Any soft herbs, just a little gesture of it, roughly chopped up, would be lovely. A little swig of vinegar, or lime juice, or lemon juice, really helps a dish like this, which is quite savoury and a little bit spicy. So I'll just put a little squeeze of lime in there, but literally use what you've got to hand. And then, let's plate up. So get your rice, get a fork, and give it a nice little fluff up. So a nice wad on the plate. Look at that, fluffy. Of course, you can go for brown rice as well. Very, very nice. And then we want that chilli. Big chunks of that sweet potato. So good. And you've got the beans. Really nice. Massive plate of food. Loads of goodness. And for me, the thing that I really want to have with it is a nice little splurge of yogurt. It could be sour cream, you know, whatever you've got available to you. And if you've got a few bits of coriander, happy days. So whether it's rice or tortilla wraps, or, you know, swap one veg out for another, or slip a bit of meat in or not, it's a very, very generous, flexible recipe that I think you're gonna love. Right, look, enough yapping. I love a good chili. Mm. What I love is the sweetness you get from the peppers but then the hunks of sweet potato on the crispy skin and that little bit of fluffy rice. Mmm, so, so good. 